we have solved two different situations where we had difference equations. And we saw how we were precisely able to relate the previous term, the initial term, and the next term. Well, such relations we were able to relate the previous term, which we said a n plus one was equal to a n. Okay, this the previous term will be a n minus one, right? Will be equal to the initial term. We, we, we show it by a n, and the next term we show it by a n plus one. The initial, you move one step high, you get the next term, and you move one step low, you get the the term that came before. So, in this lesson, we're going to be classifying occurrence relations. By their order. So, what do we mean by the order of a recurrence relation? So, a recurrence relation is also a is a it's a special type of a difference equation. So, let's have an example of how a difference equation might look like. Well, I can give you something like y subscript k minus three subscript y k minus one minus four subscript y k minus 2 is equal to 0. This is a recurrence relation. Why? Because we are able to relate. Now, if you can write this, let me highlight this. We have this, we have this, and we have this. I'm going to draw a, 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 a number line. So if this is k, this will definitely be k minus 1, and that one will be k minus 2, right? So if this is k, this is the previous value of k and this is the previous value of k by 2. You see how we're able to relate the terms that are following each other in, in this equation over here. Such a thing is called a recurrence relation. So when I'm talking about a recurrence relation, this is an example of what a recurrence relation is. It's when we're able to relate the previous term to the next term or we're able to relate terms in a difference equation. So now let's see. Um, Let's try to solve this. Okay, we're not really solving. We're just going to classify by order in this lesson. So, in the next lessons, we'll show you how to solve them. So, the order of a recurrence relation is given by the highest subscript minus the lowest subscript. Between k, k minus 1, and k minus 2, which one is greater? k is the largest, right? So in this case, our order will be k minus, the lowest will be k minus 2. If we do this, we're going to get k minus k plus 2. Then the answer is 2. So the order of this recurrence relation over here is 2. So this is how you can solve the order of a recurrence relation. Let's have a second example. Let's say now I give you y sub k minus 3 y sub k minus 1 minus 4y sub k minus 2 and I say equal to 0. What is the order of this recurrence relation? So the order, like we said, is the maximum subscript minus the minimum or the lowest subscript. In this case, uh, this seems um, similar to what we did before. So this is your, your, your maximum subscript, which is k minus the lower subscript is k minus minus 2, right? Then we get k minus k plus 2, then the order of this is also 2. So this is how you can solve the order of a recurrence relation. So let's have um, one last example which can illustrate how to solve a recurrence relation. So let's say I give you a hypothetical um, equation. And I say um, y subscript k minus 3 plus y subscript k minus 2 plus y subscript k plus 4. This might not exist. I'm just making it out of my own mind for the purpose of illustrating how to calculate um, the order. So the order is equal to the maximum subscript minus the, low, the lowest of the minimum subscript 
Now, what is the maximum subscript here? It's going to be k plus four, right? And the minimum or the, the very lowest one is going to be k minus three. Now, my order will then be k plus four minus the lowest, which is k minus three. Then I get k plus four minus k plus three. Then the order of this reference relation will be seven. So this is how you can calculate the order of a recurrence relation. Just simply take the highest subscript and subtract the lowest subscript. Thank you for watching.